Jose lived in a not so safe environment and seen lots of violence growing up. He was never able to play outside or do childlike things due to the lack of safety. But he knew his mom was trying her hardest to make things better. She worked at the lowest point of a factory just to provide for her kids. She struggled with putting food on the table and buying her kids what they wanted, but she never gave up and soon worked her way up as a manager. Um, so like, like I said, everything was like on a tight budget, like bills and food, you know. Um, there was times where like I really did not eat or like I didn't have money for like school. So like I never said nothing to my mom, mostly because I didn't want her to cry. Only because I have seen my mom cry over the bills. Jose, a junior at Bremen High School, Unlike any other kid at the age of 6 to 11, he didn't really have much of a father figure. He was never able to do father-son things like other kids, but he never let that get to him. He knew he always had his mother as his guidance, and she would always be there for him. Like Even though he was there, he wasn't really much of an impact as much as my mom. Um, honestly, I couldn't even tell you the last time me and my dad like went to go do something, like pick up a ball or go football, talk. Like Everything it was through my mom. My mom had to talk. Um, I mean, he's there now, but, like, I guess, like, you know, he sees me as, like, a grown man, and, you know. Like. One day, Jose's mother tells him a story that inspires him to be grateful and to always have hope. So, a little story about my mom. My mom's, her three brothers and two sisters, so in total, uh, my grandma, she had six kids. My mom would sleep on one bed with all, you know, her brothers and sisters. My mom grew up with nothing, you know, um, even worse. She, uh, you know, didn't have hot water. She had, like, no, they had to go dig for food. My mom, back then, went through it really, really bad. But, um, so my mom's, like, working really hard where she's at. And my mom's, you know, she tells me the story, like, be grateful, you know, about everything. Don't, you know, be humble. Um, always stay positive. Uh, get good grades. He never wanted to make his mom worry. Whenever he or his younger sister needed money for school and food, he never told his mom. At a very young age, he learned to only spend money on needs, not wants. He never wanted to make his mom stress more than um, she already was. Yeah, most of my, my mom, like, because my mom's the only one that was really taking care of me. She's inspired me to do good. So it really picked me up to want to do good, like make her proud, you know. Um, that's what really inspired me, my mother. He became more responsible in and out of school with the help of his job and his friends. Um, my friends, you know, got in trouble and a lot, and I would have their back, so that'd get me in trouble. Um, I didn't really have no guidance there because at that time my mom was just working full time, but like, you know, like I didn't have like a father figure, so you know, I guess like I was mad at my dad in a way. I don't know why. <laughs> I was, I was, I blamed him for a lot of things. But uh, it's mostly the people you hang with that get you in trouble. I had a lot of friends that liked to skip, and once I tried it once, I was like, oh, no school, so I just started skipping. Uh, almost failed freshman year. So I'd like, focus on my grades, but it's like the, my friends like would just bother me, like, let's go skip. And those are the type of friends you want to stay away because they're not really looking out for you, you know? Because if they really were, they'd be like, oh, just stay, you know, or don't come, or they wouldn't even ask. So like, that's what I'm saying, like, friends like that you really don't want to be having. Cause like they don't care about you. They're willing, you know. They see that you're trying to put in the, you know, work to get good grades, and they're trying to mess you up. It's not a good thing. Jose wants to share his story to other teens that may be going through the same thing, and wants to let them know there is always a way out, and to always have hope. What I would tell you guys, if you guys are in my situation, you know, kind of going through the same thing that I'm going through, I'd say stay positive, do sports, and don't hang with people that have bad influence on you because, like I said, it's going to bring you down. You know, I, I had goals, you know, I wanted to do good in school, I wanted to stop hanging with friends like that because now all my friends are either locked up or not alive. Um, so I lost a lot of friends. Um, so that makes me, you know, like, if I would have never changed, you know, I could have been me, you know. So, you know, having goals is very important in life, in my opinion. So I would say, you know, set some goals that you guys want to achieve and make your mom or your parents happy, you know.